Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and there's been a lot of talk lately about the kinematic sequence. Today I'm going to attempt to explain to you the kinematic sequence as simply as possible. Stay tuned. So what is the kinematic sequence? The kinematic sequence is a very scientific name and a very impressive name for basically how <clears throat> the different parts of the body work during the downswing. So we get to the end of our backswing and generally the first thing that moves is the hips, the second thing that moves is the shoulders and the third thing that moves is the hands. That essentially is the kinematic sequence but I'm going to explain to you in very simple terms why all that happens. So I've got some little things here I've fashioned into a, like a three-stage rocket. So if we imagine we're at a launch pad <clears throat> and uh, the countdown commences, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, blast off. First thing that happens is this big bottom stage, the big blue bit, full of fuel, it fires up and it go, starts moving off the launch pad. Now it doesn't last very long and it burns up all its fuel very quickly so that when that happens, it falls off and comes back to earth. So then this white section starts firing up and it then gets the spaceship or the, the rocket up higher. So it burns for a little longer, but then eventually it comes off and then we're left with the, uh, the little module which is the last thing. So in terms of how we relate this to golf, <clears throat> stage one, this blue bit, is actually our hips. So our hips fire, but they don't last very long. They don't move very much. And then they only move for a short time, and then they stop working. So effectively, that drops off. So the next thing that happens is the shoulders start coming down. But once again, they don't move for very long, and then they stop working. And then the last stage is this little lunar, mo lunar module, we'll call it. It's traveling at great speed and it fires last. And that's what the hands do. So if we can relate that to, we're up here, the blue foam starts first, the white foam starts second, the stage two of the, of the rocket. And then the next thing is the hands kick in and that really is the kinematic sequence. Unfortunately, most people focus too much on stage one and stage two, so they're getting this bit going, but they overdo it. And the last thing that fires is the hands, and that doesn't really kick in until after they've hit the ball. So if that was the rocket, the rocket's going to come crashing back down to earth. We need each of those three sections to fire at the right time. So we need to focus a lot more on the hands. You'll find that your body wants to do the right thing most of, most of the time quite naturally, but we have to make sure stage three occurs, that we get those hands firing through. And if we can focus on that, I think you're gonna play a lot better golf. So I hope that makes sense. The kinematic sequence, it sounds scary, but it's actually not. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can subscribe by clicking the round avatar down there. You can get further information on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. And you can sign up to my electronic newsletter at thegolfdoctor.com.au.